Sticking with the spirit of the budget cinema camera, the Sony FX30, I thought it would only be right to make a cinema camera rig that was truly a budget kit for this camera. I've previously made cinema rig videos for the FX30, but all of those have cost so much money. One rig I have when paired with my Atmos Ninja is just as expensive as the camera itself. So I had an idea to make this video giving you guys the option to rig out the camera without breaking the bank. I wanted to build a rig that was under 500 US dollars. Now Newer was kind enough to send me almost all the components needed for this setup. So I'll link them all in the description below. At the time of this video on their website, all products are 25% off, but I found that even on Amazon, their products are always on sale. So most likely you'll never pay full price for any of this gear. All the newer gear mentioned in this video currently totals to $482.82. So let's jump right into building this rig from the ground up. Starting with the key component of this whole rig setup is the Sony FX30 camera cage. I have camera cages from Tilta and Small Rig. I find that this one holds up just as well, but like I just mentioned, this one is significantly cheaper. package comes with an HDMI clamp, which is super important so that you keep your cable secure and that it won't break when using it. It also comes with a NATO top rail, which is great for attaching different accessories. For this rig setup, I won't be using it though. And if you've purchased the FX30 package with the top handle, it comes with handle extension components. All right, next I'm attaching this follow focus. Follow focus are great for providing more manual focus control. And I find that they give you more stability when you're holding your camera rig handheld. In this video, I'm showing you guys two different rig setups with newer products. With this first one, I'm attaching the follow focus rod right to the camera cage itself. I love how this is included with the follow focus. Now this next part's really great. This is an Arca Swiss compatible V-mount plate, which easily tilts out of the way so that you can access your swivel screen whenever you need to. I'm powering the camera here with the newer 99 watt V-mount battery. This will give me several hours of shooting time without needing to swap the small internal batteries. To charge it, you throw in this dummy battery using the D-tap connector. And lastly, for this rig setup, I'm throwing on the newer F400 Pro monitor. The sharpness of this monitor is so nice. The quality is just as good as a lot of other monitors that I've tried. There you have it, the first minimal cinema camera rig setup for the Sony FX30.
Now let's start from scratch again. I'll show you a little bit more robust of a setup. We have this base plate here that supports 15 millimeter rods. I love these carbon fiber rods. They're super lightweight, but extremely strong. We'll attach the follow focus again. Now here's a different V-mount plate that is a similar design with being able to tilt out of the way, but it connects via the 15 millimeter rails. We'll put together the rest of the setup as before. And there you have it, a similar rig to before, but this one's a little bit more robust. Now there are so many more components that you could add to rig this out. You could add a map box, a variable ND filter, a side handle. You could use the top handle, you could add a microphone. I'll make sure to list all those extra components as well in the description below. Let me know what you think about the cinema camera rig in the comment section below. And if there's anything that you would add or take away from it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.